Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Joyce Love, the number one empress. <clears throat> and I'm here to do a love reading for my Leos. Yes, my pride holders, my king of the jungles, my gods and goddesses. How you guys doing and welcome back. I would appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit the bell on the side for all the updated videos when I post them. And if you uh, would like a personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. Check that out. Okay? So, let's get into the reading. God, so spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me say your words and not my own so that I can give my gods and goddesses, my Leos, the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you, spirit. Amen. Now, let's see what's on and popping <laughs> with my Leos. All right, Leos, things are starting to look clearer for you. You're getting the mental clarity that you deserve. And you're just uh, being optimistic of your future now. You're starting to listen, to listen to your intuition and pray about things. And you're just taking the bad with the good. And you like moving forward because you're destined for happiness. And you're not going to stop until you get it. You want something to where you can trust the person. This is a little bit too strong. You want something to where you can trust your person. You want something to where you can, you know, your person always have your back where your family life is okay. And you're just really ready to settle down. You're ready to walk away from a situation because, you know, you you love this person so much and it's just, you know, not working out. And you're tired of moping and being, you know, up in this dark space. You're just ready to move away from a situation and start over new. You're ready to, you know, be more authentic with yourself and, you know, just ground your, be authentic with yourself, ground yourself and just move forward. It's like you're turning your back on this this person that you looked at. It was this person was everything to you, but it's not working out, and you're understanding that. You know, you are you know digging deep within yourself. It's like a, a spiritual um, thing that's happening to you right now. You know, you're starting to listen to that intuition a little more. You're starting to you know rely on the higher source. You know, for your you know, your, your, your future. Okay. You're ready to cut out anything that no longer serves you. If this, this incident is really strong. Excuse me, guys. You are, you know, trying to get away from all the distractions that's keep happening in your world that's throwing you off. <clears throat> and you're ready to get things balanced in your life again. You know that you have something coming, and you're just really being patient. You have all the love to give, and you know that you know you know that something is coming your way. So you're just trusting God, source, spirit on your journey, and you're just isolating yourself, listening to your intuition and that voice of God so that you can make the right choice moving forward. You're seeing situations for what they are and you're just, you know, walking away. You're walking away, you know, because it's sad. You know, you're walking away because, you know, you're constantly being sad. You're being down and out. You're being, you know, feeling lonely. And you just realize right now what drew, um, what caused you guys to fall out. You had an epiphany, and now that's the mental clarity that, that's, you know, making you walk away. You see that it's been a lot of damage done within this union, and you don't want to continue to cry over something that's over. So you're deciding to pick up where you at, take the bad with the good, and make something beautiful out the rest of your life that you have 
okay? You're ready to turn around and get the blessings that God's or Spirit has for you. Because you, you know, the person that you was dealing with, they, they was, you know, not focusing on you. You feel like your person has, you know, focused more on their money than you. And you're just really over it. It's too much for you to deal with. It's too much for you to handle. And you're not trying to handle it no more. With the last card out here, guess what? You showing up and showing out and you pushing forward and getting the happiness that you deserve. You're feeling free. You're enjoying yourself and you're just pushing for your happiness. You're not stopping at nothing. You're not going to allow your anxiety <clears throat> or your, you know, depression. You're not going to allow your uh, paranoia or any of those low vibrational energies. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a drink. Any of those low vibrational energies to, you know, shake you. You're going to stand out. You're going to be the God that you is. And you're going to, you know, search for your happiness. And you're going to feel free finally. You're ready. You're ready. Your first card, you're ready. The mental clarity is here. Your last card. Because you are destined for your happiness. And you're going to keep going until you do. Even though if that's me. If that means um, leaving the past where the past is at. Even if that means for you to walk away from the love of your life. You know and being optimistic that you will find someone else. You're just ready to cut out any uh, people, places, or thing that no longer serves you. You're ready to get the um, balance restored back in your life. And you're listening right to your intuition, going deep within. You're having a, a spiritual growth within yourself. And you're um, listening this time. And I get an outcome and advice for this situation with my Leos, my gods and goddesses, bottom of the deck, eight of swords. You tired of, you know, giving yourself a pity party. You're ready to stand up in your energy. You're ready to untie yourself. You're ready to take that blindfold off your eyes and see the situ situation for what it is. You're ready to take control of your thoughts with this, um, giving yourself a pity party. Like, why me, poor me? Why I never find love? Why is it always happening to me? No, you're ready to take responsibility for what it is, what's happening in your world, and you're ready to stand up and level up and move forward you know you got the keys to unlock the treasures within the life you know it and now you're going to start using the knowledge that you know to get you to move ahead you know you have people who is looking up for you looking up to you and you're ready to stand out you're ready to do what god saw spirit sent you on this path to do and that if that's giving the love back to yourself so that you can be more self-sufficient to handle the things that come your way that's what you're gonna do you're seeing things clearer now everything's clearer now the rain is gone <laughs> now I'm going to shine my light. This is you, Leos. You showing up. You showing out. You showing how your story ends. It's going to end with you loving you, standing in your power, knowing who you is. You know, giving the love to yourself. That person that you trying to rekindle the flame with, taking their time to give you this higher level of commitment. But that's okay. Everything is a process. Don't rush the process. Enjoy it. Okay? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to give you an oracle card, my gods and goddesses, my Leos, my pride holders, my king of the jungles. One oracle card for this situation. Thank you, spirit, for this message. Thank you. Look at that. It's right there. The high priestess came out again because you're really, this is the spiritualness that's happening to you. It's shaking things up. It's shaking how you view things. It's, it's shaking how you think about things. And it's time to elevate. It's time to elevate with our, the high priestess, Archangel Hanuel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Okay, it's time for you to dig deep. It's time for you to connect back with self. 
so that you can, you know, make the right choices moving forward towards your happiness. It's time for you, whoever you pray to, it's time for you to get back into that energy so that you can make more better choices for yourself. Okay, level up, level up, level up, level up, okay? Get that love to you. You got it coming in. You got it coming in. You just got to work on you, you know, and walk away from people, places, and things that's been, that's been hindering you. It's time for a new, a new revolution. It's time for a new day. All right, good luck with everything. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I appreciate everything you guys doing with my channel. Um, until next time, you know, if this energy resonates with any of you guys, please put a comment down below. And until next time, be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, and it's me, Joyce Love. Peace out.